Hello everyone and welcome back to the 20th Marathon at Metagear Speedrunners. My name is Austis and we have a great race for you right now. It's the first time we're going to see a blindfold race and of course it will be a Metagear Solid 2 in the tanker chapter. We have competing here Apache Smash on the left and the Lightning Strikes on the right, commentated by Plywood. In the nature of the blindfold race, we're not going to have a countdown in backstage. We have to announce it. So I hope everyone's ready. We're going to start the race in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, folks, welcome to Blindfold Tanker. Both of these runners have contributed heavily to this routing. Uh, the world record is now at 743, which is actually faster than a couple of times on the non-blind board. Um, and that's just a testament to how much this route has been developed over time. As you can expect in a blindfold run, uh, audio cues are very key. But one of the things that causes issue is that since this is a 3D game and pressure sensitivity and making slight adjustments on movement, uh, things can be a little weird and inconsistent with moving Snake around. Uh, generally speaking, you're going to see that the movement is very like robotic and planned. So, you know, you run into a wall, you take certain number of steps, stop, turn, that kind of thing. And the start of this run is fairly straightforward, but the thing is, <laughs> some of the audio cues can get a little bit weird. Um, sometimes cutscenes won't play, or they changes how you think it will play. Uh, and you see already, like, wait, where am I going? It's always a where am I going kind of situation, and trying to make the proper adjustment. That was actually interesting that lightning got kicked up the stairs. <laughs> Just shrugs it off like, yeah, okay, I guess this works. Um, Olga. We want Olga to spawn on the right side rather than left. I've been You're going to see both players are just born. going to be I grew up on spamming the, the M9 a ton. This is very easy. You get a ton the of shots. Uh, we do not want Olga to we end up in the back the uh, behind the shelves the after the whoever you are, you're not stopping us. Nothing if that happens, both stop. runners are probably just going to take a death um, rather than to trying to make something work. But this is looking pretty good for both players. It looks like Apache is going to finish Olga first and Lighty's just a little bit behind. So very nice. So that's like the first big challenge of the run after making your way up there. Now we're going to head on to the engine room, which is the next really difficult part of the run. The engine room movement is very challenging. So as they come down back into that cafeteria area, the mess hall, cruise quarters, you'll either be picking up the ammo there or the ammo later. I think Apache is going to opt for picking up the USP ammo later. And it looks like Lighty is also doing the same thing. So they'll be picking up ammo in the engine room, since you're going to need that ammo for later. And before anyone's wondering, I have not ever done a blindfold run. I nearly did, but... Not of this game, so it's uh, really exciting to see this. You want to try and trink this guy so you don't get uh, shot by him or cause an alert, but it's not that big of a deal if an alert happens. And then as you go into the cruise lounge, you want to shoot the window or the guard. So Lighty got it. Apache goes for something a little bit safer, just waits for the guard to move to the right, the buffer strat. And then you equip your camera, make sure that you have your camera equipped. So the engine room, again, this is really tricky movement because there's these very small gaps that you need to get into. They both have really good movement and drop onto the guard. Lighty successfully getting down this little staircase. That staircase is annoying, very annoying. 
again, using that uh, sidle feature or leaning on the wall to check where you're going. And once again, another little narrow passageway, both of them getting through and then going and picking up the USP bullets. Nice little setup with that roll, just so that you know you're at the right position to pick up the ammo. So this part is wild. Uh, this setup, you actually shoot the sensor, the one sensor on very easy with a third person shot. So you run towards the, the codec with uh, Otacon being like, look out, there's a bomb. Uh, and then you just roll into, or not roll, but move into the uh, uh, sensor. And then you have to like, just barely tap up right to get a shot off on the sensor. Uh, Lady had a mistake. Uh, Apache got it first try, thankfully. The continues not too far behind. Ah, oh, man. As Apache goes into this long hallway, the audio cue here that is useful is, well, the announcer, which a lot of runners meme about anyways, but it's pretty useful to have the announcer, not only for sighted play, but non-sighted play. So the alert as well for Apache, using that to know when to move uh, and when to shoot for those guards as he starts approaching the guard rush. There we go, got the sensor. Now we're heading into the hallway, the lightning, and uh, guard rush beginning for Apache. Just running straight up into the barrier here and just spamming that M9. Uh, that little shot on that box guard, you actually want to get hit, and once you get hit by him, you go into FPV and lock onto him. Getting shot is part of the setup. Now Apache entering holds. The end part of this, holds one through holds three, is very challenging. Ladder glitch really isn't that bad, oddly enough, because it does have audio cues that you can use uh, to get down. It's pretty obvious to know when ladder glitch fails, but this part, you want to do a very specific setup. You stop, turn, and then lean and shoot. Very key thing in this game is if you stop and then turn, you're going to get a different kind of movement pattern versus if you like held the direction the whole time. So sometimes stopping is much more preferred and that's how you do that hold one setup. So Patchy and Lightning do two different setups for the holds two. Patchy is waiting out a little bit, and I think he throws every guard, yep. And Lighty prefers to do a domino roll. The throwing is safer, but it takes longer. At this point, for Lightning, it's a, oh, that is a, this is exactly what I was about to say. If he gets spotted, and now he has to do this really long room all over again. And that is super frustrating. So this will give Lightning the chance to catch up because her hold two is a much faster strat. And folks, even though both players are messing up, this is really, really tough. Uh, th there is actually a guide that Apache made for Blindfold Tanker if you'd like to learn it. But big respect to both players doing this. And look at that. Look at that domino roll. Very well done. They're essentially entering hold three at the exact same time. So for holds three, this is all about just not moving your camera up too much. But it's so hard to judge whether you did it too much. You'll know that you'll miss a shot by the little audio cue bling. Like a deling. Um, But we're not going to do the uh, fancy logo shot. We're going to actually go over to the logo just because it's really hard to judge whether you actually hit the logo and not just like the front of the the ray. So 
they both come over here, shoot the Marines logo, and now getting set up for the final shot, the front right shot, and approaching that computer. And I think, I think with that, that holds to mistake from Apache completely costed him. Even though Lightning had some issues in engine room, that is such a long loss uh, to have right at the end of your run. So very well done. Tense race. Even though world record is 743, they both got nine nine minute runs, only seven seconds apart. That's pretty awesome. That was a close race in the end. Huge, huge GGs. GGs, was... I don't know the time. Uh, you won by seven seconds. I won by seven seconds. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, man, I couldn't get off the wall after throwing the guards in hole two. Like I knew I was against that box and I oh, knew shit. I had to get around it, but oh man. Oh shit. Oh I had the engine room troubles. <laughs> <laughs> oh what man. happened? Were you just were you just not able to get the sensor? I hit the bomb twice, I yeah. believe, and then I got once too far. Um so I hit the sensor, uh, like the you know, the lasers, and then I got them. Oh man. <laughs> Still, it's a it's a ridiculously hard run, and there's so many places where it can just kill you. So, you know, yeah, this yeah. this is just ten minutes, but for me, this felt like an hour. I think I've aged <laughs> ten years, at least. Oh man, <laughs> that that was a wild race to watch, and I was literally, as I was say, I was literally about to say, well, what lightning lightning is hoping for is. Uh, continue from Apache, and then it just happens like, oh no, this is <laughs> oh, you dinged him. Oh, oh no, because yeah, no. hole two is such a long continue because you do yep. all the setup first and then you get all the way to the yeah. end of the room. Because yep. I was just looking at it thinking, how how could I be so far behind with only one continue? And now I'm like, oh yeah, it's the worst continue That's you can get. That's the worst continue, it's <laughs> like, the worst continue you can have, generally yeah. the worst one. To Where? Totally my fault though, it was, it was a miss input, like I knew. I was on the last guard and I, I kind of lost count, but then I second guessed myself whether I was or I wasn't. And so I ran forward instead of running like diagonal up and right. So just by human error. Well, I've made a plenty of errors myself and uh, that <laughs> I, th I think, I think this is very hard to get consistent. Yeah. I just wanted it to be like a good, a good race and a good showcase of what, I, like how difficult this run is. And if we'd both just cleared it with no continues, it would have looked easy. It's really, really not. No, no. And even if both of you killed it, I would say folks, they make it look easy. This is not <laughs> easy. <laughs> you know, this takes a lot of practice, a lot of attention to details. Most people are not going to be paying attention to when they're usually running the game. So you need to huge. sacrifice your ears. Yes. <laughs> it's constantly use... blasting through your ears. Every alert, the full sound gets blasted through your ears. I have my volume on max. Don't do this if you love your ears, that's for sure. I have to like, there's certain parts of the game where I have to have the sound up and then other parts of the game where I have to turn it back down again. So I've got like a dial on my headphones and I constantly have to change it depending on where I am in the room. Yeah. That's actually quite that. useful for this. <laughs> yeah. I, I just take it in. I just take the damage. <laughs> oh, that was Alrighty. wonderful. Thanks. Thanks for raising me, Apache. Yeah, of course. GG's to both of you. And of course, GG's Plywood for commentating along. That was insane. I think I can speak for the audience in chat. We're just going crazy over all of this. To set them up, of course, in chat with a huge clap round. That was Fantastic to both these runners, especially so close, going back and forth. We all definitely loved it. Of course, it's not over yet. We're coming up to the next run. That is Medicus 2 VR missions. We're just going to prepare that in the meantime. Folks, stay tuned.